here um, and they are looking around the room. A couple of them is their first time here. This is a this is a okay. center stage. Um, the reason I like it yeah, is that we're, we're going to meet all on the center stage as a group, and then go off into four different places. Okay. Right. So you can go up and say hi to folks if you want. Sure. So. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hi. So the you know in theory you can have students uh, or us tonight kind of break off into little groups and have a conversation uh, within their circle, you know, and then you know, as teacher you can uh, or facilitator you can kind of like walk around the room and over here and interact with them if you want. That, I'm, doing, I'm doing a good job yeah, explaining. You are. There's at, also a map so, at the bottom of your screen. Tonight, and that'll tonight by the way. Everybody comes in late. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, tonight you um, you will be in this awkward position of wanting to stay in the conversation, but having to go off to another group and make sure they're doing okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so just to say. Yep. Didn't mean to interrupt. Okay. Go ahead. Well, um... We're no, I mean, again, uh, there's a map, and the map will show you the whole room if you click that. Some of the rooms have pianos that you can hear the music play. This room might have a bar um, in the lower left-hand corner. I don't know. No, it does. Or anything, uh, you know. I'm here as we vamp and kill time. By the way, by the way, June June is um, June is the person who is doing Persepolis. I just oh, awesome! How did you as the Persepolis? June, we should definitely talk. <laughs> so, That's please right. introduce yourselves a little bit. And Marina teaches not far from your school. <laughs> okay. I'll go first. Um, all right. Hello, everybody. My name is Kevin Vacna. I, uh, I teach high school English. Uh, high school in White Plains. I teach at Stepanak High School. Um, yeah, and I don't know. Uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna talk a little more about some of the things I've been doing, but uh, I'd love to you know get to know some of you guys now. So, who wants to be brave and be our first volunteer? Uh, okay, so going in clockwise from the bottom, June, it's you. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm June. Well, let me just volunteer. check, June, June. Are you are you okay in this space? Are you comfortable? Or are you... <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. different, but it's interesting. Okay. I'm fascinated. Okay. Um, okay. I'm a I'm an English teacher, a high school English teacher, and a theory of knowledge teacher in um, school district of Philadelphia. And it's a pretty small school called Hell Freeman World Academy. And uh, this is my sixth year. And uh, very new to virtual platforms. We don't use virtual platforms a lot, but obviously we've been fully remote the whole past year. So we've been getting the hang of it. Cool. Welcome. All right. Thank you for staying up beyond your bedtime. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Marina. Okay. I thought we were going clockwise. <laughs> um, I'm Marina. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Nikki. That's okay. Good. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> is that clockwise? <laughs> uh, it is actually, yes. I mean, I, I was just like, so what's going to happen is like, we follow social norms, right? So like, it's fine.
also facilitate our literary magazine, which is for middle school students. And um, we've done graphic novel units with the third graders this year. So I'm just excited to hear like what. Hi, Janet. We're up here on the stage. Welcome. Hearing from Come on up. June, I want to talk about Persepolis at some point. And Marina, I want to talk about literary magazines. Uh, OK, so I'm making mental notes. Paul, uh, please. Um, I am Paul Allison, and um, I, I co-teach a class in the Bronx at uh, Pulse High School um, and, uh, and have uh, worked many years around the Bronx and um, had the privilege of consulting with Kevin a few years ago, two years ago, I think it was, mm -hmm. um, and met him then, and uh, we're making connection again here, which is great. Thank you, Paul. Um, uh, Paul H, please. Oh, was that? Yeah, I didn't know which Paul you were talking. It's okay. You're coming and going. It's fine. <laughs> you're rolling with it. Okay. I think I think that one was for me, but I was, you know, I just let it happen. <laughs> so, by the I way, don't... did you see my big yes in the chat? So I I did. Is, and uh, is she bold you know, enough to do you, it? If you don't know how important this is to kids, um, I do have a, a senior who's in our AP class, and she likes to follow along uh, with the YouTube feed on Wednesday. She listens to TTT uh, while she does her homework. So uh, we sent an invitation to her. Hopefully, maybe she'll uh, show up here in the, the Cuomo space. We've been using it with our students for the last two weeks um, after the introduction here at uh, Teachers Teach Teachers. Uh, so we've been using this exclusively while the kids have been e-learning for the last two weeks. Oh my gosh! Um, you've been using it with your. So you have you a. Know do you have a four o a, a room four o seven? We have a beta room. We call it beta room four o seven, and it has the actually it mirrors uh, what Kevin has offered for us tonight. These three spaces. Um, in fact, we contacted uh, the folks at Cuomo Space today to talk about the bar feature, and how if we could take that little tab off where it says pour a drink, you know, like it's it's a little problematic. For, <laughs> For high schoolers, and it, 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 sometimes it just kind of feels like it's such a goofy feature. Well, there isn't we, there isn't one in the classroom, but yes, no, there isn't, and that was. And you can't feedback. convince them it's non-alcoholic drinks that they're having. Yeah, boy, that's that's how we tried to play it. You're getting Hawaiian bunch in a nice glass today. So I don't know uh, if you saw, but just to keep interrupting you a little bit, um, Kumo Space <laughs> um, has a. Uh, they're going to have a. Um, or they they've invited people to do that what's it called where you break out of the room so there are eight rooms you solve puzzles together and then you you'll get out of the rooms um so we might play with that a little bit but i'd love to how how are your kids liking the um kuma space our, yeah our uh our you know if we were going to call it compliance i would say that our camera on compliance has gone up like about 85 to 90 percent mm -hmm. uh, because of the smaller square uh the the amount of actual background that you're getting to see from one another um and the ability to break out a tile and and be a little bit more organic about your movement and say i'm working with these three people i don't mind having my camera on with those three folks so the only thing that's a little bit uh, jarring for them between this and google meet is not watching the map or sensing like when i'm coming into their range and some of the students, like, you sneak up on them paul or? yeah yeah like i'm built for stealth you know uh, but the you can't bing bong like you do like in google meets where you come into the breakout room and everybody knows you're there yeah. So like as you're coming into a student's range, that can get a little bit tricky because it's just like the physical room you're coming into a conversation that's ongoing. So it's a, it's a little weird for us, but we're working it. Hmm. Cool. And I did look at Persepolis a little bit. Who is the teacher that's using Persepolis at now comment? Okay. I think the only thing when I saw that now comment, like not having the pagination for me as a graphic novel reader was like, oh, I, I can't like what page am I on? In Persepolis, but I, I, I love that uh, whoever whoever loaded that up, wow, that was a labor of love because you're like all these images, images, images. It was like really something. Cool. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Um, anyway, did Janet get to introduce herself? 
Janet and Nikki have not introduced themselves yet. Okay. Yeah. And I I'll think go down and say hi to Kristen. Oh, oh Kristen. you're here, Kristen. You're good. Uh, Nikki, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Nikki Fain. I am a professor at Lehman College in the School of Education and teach people to be teachers. And Kevin, I understand you're a proud graduate. We're not so proud graduate, but a graduate. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> cool. When did you when did you finish at Lehman? Um, I want to say twelve or eleven, uh, but it was it was early in the in the in the teens. Cool. Um, I did a master's in English lit because my undergrad was in secondary education, and then I did a administration master's at Hunter, and I, I you know what. I liked my time at Lehman a little better. It was a little more personable, you know. Uh, Hunter was very, I don't know, felt very clinical at times. So, cool. proud graduate. Okay. Good. Well, that's good. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome, Nikki. Um, okay, so we're doing introductions. Janet, you were here before. Oh, no. can you hear me? I don't know. I yeah. Tell. What? Why don't we make sure yes. make sure you're on the stage so you can hear everyone? I'm just worried that Nikki, you you can't hear Janet. Can you hear me? Or yeah, no? come 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 a little closer into the middle of the stage, everybody. Thank you, uh, June. You maybe too, just so we're sure we can hear everyone. Okay, good, Janet. We're good. How introduction? Okay, hey, good good evening, everybody. I'm Janet Ilko. I'm at Health Sciences High School in uh, San Diego, California. And um, yeah, don't hate me because we're not frozen right now. Um, and I work with um, kids. Well, my role this year is supporting our English department. Right now I'm supporting juniors um, and then working on developing a writing club with any kid on, cam on our digital campus that wants to uh, come join us. So um, we're actually going to play with Kumo Space tomorrow with the writing club with a few students. Paul, you've inspired me. I'm like, all right, we're going in tomorrow morning. Oh, can I so, come? Um, um, let me do it one time and see how it works okay. and you can come next. Week. I'm sorry. I didn't, mean, I didn't mean to be so pushy. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Just because I don't know who's showing up. So yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll warn that you're coming. They love you. And then I know they'll be there. Okay. So it's a morning class, so I can't guarantee my, uh, That's all good. Okay. Yeah, let me cool. Oh, speaking of students, Paul, do you want to, and it's okay for these introductions to be going. Hi, Karis. Um, we're up in the middle of the stage. Your Mr. Your teacher's up there too. Maybe microphone issues. Uh, if you want to do it in the chat, this is Christina, everyone. Mm. I don't know. You guys may be old friends for all I know. Uh, we are. I don't know. Hi, Christina. <laughs> That's what I mean. I'm like, <laughs> Christina, do you want to just, just try to go out and come back? Yeah. Maybe that'll work. You had this problem last time too. I wonder what. Uh, Okay. And Karis, could, um, are you there? Can you unmute? Um, maybe she's having issues too. Hi, Karis is our or student. She just wants uh, to hang out. Yeah. Karis is enrolled in uh, AP English Literature and Composition this year. She was my student last year in AP Lang and Comp and got the loop back with us. Uh, I know she did send me a message saying that uh, she'd rather come in camera off tonight oh, just fine. because uh, it's it's late at night. She's working on homework and things like that. So she's in the mix, but she says she's having trouble getting her microphone on. So she may be having some of the same issues that Christina was having. Okay. But, uh, and the only, suge the only uh, suggestion I have is to go out and come back again. That might is that, work. Is that a fix? Uh, sometimes. Okay. All right. It's the old IT fix. Turn it off and on again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, and just to, um, Christina, can you talk yet? I can. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. That worked. Okay. Do you want to say more of who you are? <laughs> um, <laughs> hi, everyone. I'm Christina Cantrell. I work for the National Writing Project and some semesters I teach this semester, I'm a student, so it's always interesting to be in that room. Cool. And um, for some reason, 
I can't get this to work right on Chrome. It won't engage my sound. But when I switch to Firefox, it works. That's funny. OK. Um, and that was another one of your students, wasn't it, Paul? <laughs> so, somebody else just flew by. Although oh, no, she yep. didn't fly by. Yeah, so that's Karis with her camera on. So this evening she's uh, got this to work for her. It's here nodding along. So uh, just a, a quick plug for Karis. She is very, very dependable, uh, very, very capable in the classroom and is often one of those folks who helped me to um, frame what I'm trying to say to the students in a way that other students can actually get that. Uh, so for that, she becomes indispensable to me. So uh, it's very, very helpful. And uh, just on a side note, she sends me, she has it scheduled in Google Mail somehow to send me a daily, uh, I call it click clack videos. It's actually called TikTok. I know, I know what it's really called. Uh, but she sends me a TikTok video either related to class like every single day and knows I won't watch. Like I've never scrolled up on TikTok to actually launch the wormhole. I only watch what she shows me. And usually they're good cat videos or something like that. But, uh, well, it's, very great. it's great to have um, youth with us tonight. It's and it's great to have everyone else. Did everyone get to say hello? I think so. Hello. Cool. Um, let's try to jump in. Um, I, I um, just to say, when Kevin and I sort of planned this a little bit, um, he we're, he's going to show four stations, three or four, or maybe I'll help. Um, there, um, and and so. Instead of like for the first 10 minutes, we'll do this for the next 10 minutes. We'll do that. Right. Um, what, what I thought we could do is each of us decide how long we want to spend at each of those stations and then we'll pull it all back together. So kind of planning spatially, um, is what we're thinking about. And, and you just want to go up to the station one will be up in the upper left hand corner. Station two will be in the right hand corner. Station three will be down below and station four. We'll do station four at the end, which is um, to give Kevin um, feedback on who he is and what his thinking and so forth um, using the habits of mind um, matrix that we've set up. So we'll leave that one for the end. All right. Any questions about how to proceed here? All right. So Kevin, do you want to share a screen and kind of get started with, I would show all three of the things you're going to show us. Are you ready okay. to do that? So or do you want me I'm going to, gonna, do yeah. I am, I am, I am ready. Okay. I will, uh, in the chat, I'm going to paste the links uh, to those three I, stations. I can do that. That way everyone will have, con or, okay, Paul, you got that. All right. So I will just so, show you and, those wait, three sorry, stations Kevin. Then. Can I just, um, can I, sorry. So, those links will be there for you to use um, as you need to. And um, I, I, just a quick note about Kumo Space. Also, they are they are figuring out. They claim within the next two or three weeks that we will be able. Right now, you can chat with people just near you. You can nearby chat. It's going to be a nearby share screen, so that you would only people. But that's not set up yet. So you'll have to use the links to kind of look at the different things in your group. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> okay. No problem. And I'm, yeah. Okay. So uh, let me share the screen. All right. So um, uh, what we're talking about tonight is um, something from my, my, my senior uh, honors class. Um, and it's, um, the, cl the, the class itself is grounded in um, the idea of the memoir. Uh, we started with them uh, doing multiple drafts of their college essay, their personal statement for those applications. Um, and then it turns into us uh, reading graphic novels through the lens of memoir. And it ultimately culminates in them usually taking that, that draft of their college essay and uh, re revising it into a, a graphic memoir themselves. Um, and in addition to teaching them, you know, the skills of you know, the novels, one of my ultimate goals is I want them to create a work that something that they're proud of, right? Um, and that's kind of, you know, what we're going to see tonight. So station one uh, is from our, uh, the text, uh, the main text we use. 
um, in the lead up to this. Uh, note that we've already read um, The Arrival, Mouse, and Persepolis in the, in the lead up to this. And a couple other smaller examples of graphic novel memoir writing and the different forms it can take. So this is, um, this is a book I wrote two years ago uh, about technology school. Uh, I guess I do megaphone. I'll do that. Technology school uh, society. It's a dystopian sci-fi graphic novel. And what you'll see at station one is um, the first chapter. Um, so feel free to look through it, uh, make comments, ask questions, right? Again, you're looking at this cold. There's no context really provided to it. Um, um, the and, real thing I'm interested in, and you guys, yeah. No, uh, I just want to say, um, sort of the meta thing that we'll do is uh, practice um, annotating a, a you know a graphic novel, right? So, go ahead. Awesome. Yep. Um, yeah, and I've used now comment for uh, graphic novel annotation with the arrival. Paul was really helpful in getting that going a couple of years ago. One of the questions I'm really wondering about with this um, specifically is: is this something that will hook uh, the students in the um, the subject matter uh, and and the project? Uh, so yeah, that's um, where you, where you guys can take a look at it at station one. Mm -hmm. um, and again, I don't know, it's 10 chapters, so it's like 200 pages in general. But uh, yeah, that'll give you a sense of where we start. Station two, and I, and I keep coming back to making sure that um, Hi, Chris. your view is okay. Uh, yeah, we're good. Don't station worry. two is, um, okay, thank you. The assignments. So uh, this culminates in, uh, the link will take you to the folder and you can look at the two components of this assignment. This culminates in, like I said, them creating an original comic. Uh, it's about six to eight pages is the um, the goal to shoot for. Um, and yeah, I mean, again, like look through it, see the, you know, see how I'm framing it for them. There's some okay. other resources you can look at if you want as well. Um, but in addition to creating this creative piece, there is a reflective piece that goes with it. And that's what's the other document next to it, the one that says comic rationale. So they, they do have to write a one page, you know, rationale for the, the decisions and the choices that they're making in this. It's like um, showing your, your work in math class. I, I explained it to them as, right? Uh, I could think you're using green symbolically, but unless you tell me it in your reflection, I'm gonna assume that it's, it's a coincidence, you know? So, you know, please look through that. Um, like I said, this is a, a culminating assignment for them. It comes pretty close to the end of our time together. Um, have your seniors yeah, got I'd say we have about received this yet? Yeah. They have received um, it. They are, they are about one week from that. And then once we get it, uh, we have a week in class and then a week where they can work on it outside of home. So they're handing this in with maybe two weeks left in their school year because our seniors are done first week of may okay uh, usually so um quickly to the third so one. they yeah. don't have this yet they're they're writing a critical essay right now this is they'll get this the the week of the 22nd so at some point um and the question i'm really wondering with this is um and maybe you guys can help me think of through this is um what scaffolds or supports might be necessary in um, helping the students be successful in this uh, project? Um, that might, uh, you guys um, talking about it may help me think of ways I can better support them. And then finally, uh, station three is where you can see some student examples from last year. Um, they had to submit a hard copy to me and a digital copy. Um, the hard copy was more just like my own nitpicking. I wanted them to hold something in their hands. I wanted them to have something tangible that they created in their hands. Um, and again, in the lead up to this last year, there was a lot of hemming and hawing about the art and there were an anxiety around that. Um, but at the end of the day, like everybody turned something in and like the, I was really impressed with what I got from them. And I was proud So my hope was that they could be proud and my hope the, with for you guys with this is maybe you can help me brainstorm ways to showcase and celebrate these um these student student achievements um, because i do end up with folders full of this and very little time to especially in the digital age you know have like a, like a gallery walk or some kind of like presentation with it 
Um, we have know, ideas. So, yeah, that might be something. <laughs> Good. My favorite is the Jurassic comic one, um, but please feel free to look through all of them. So there's, Kevin, there's about five different ones. We we need to yes. jump and go do the work. Um, I think. Let's do it. Okay. Yep. So Let's so in in um. Sorry, we can't mark it off, but um, in the let's let's call it northwest up. Um, if you if you want to um, start in in now comment annotating. Kevin's um, recently published, um, it's a graphic novel. Um, please go do mm -hmm. the, go do that. Uh, I want to encourage you to maybe start there. But if you want to look at the assignments first, go um, northeast, and which is upper right. And if you want to, um, if you want to look at the student work first, that would be in the lower. That'd be southeast, okay, down that way. All right, and and feel free to spend as much time as you want there. We will give you a uh, let's we'll, we'll give you an eight minute heads up in case you want to go see something else. All right, we don't know how this is going to work, but move around, ask questions, talk to each other, find each other um, in the chat. It are the links you need for each of the spaces. If you weren't, I'll put it in again, just in case you weren't here. Okay, so if you scroll down to the bottom of the chat, you'll see the links you need. So we will come back here to talk again at uh, in 25 minutes. Okay. All right, have fun. Okay, Chris, do 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 you mind being being the group leader here? Whoop, your mic. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just remember that that in, in a in an image you can highlight just a piece of the image, right, to make the comment. Um. Yeah, and so uh, we are. Oh, we're looking at that, uh, the obsolete chapter. That's right. Annotating and, and talking while we're doing it. Is that the idea? You don't have to, but you okay. can help. You can support each other. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Do some annotation and then talk about it. I mean, I'm going to go around. I'll come back to you guys. Gotcha. Nikki and Chris, you know each other, right? Hey, Nikki. Yeah. If I go over to now comment to go start annotating uh, obsolete, can mm -hmm. I secure the room when I'm on the other tab, or do I have to be in this tab? Uh, I believe. Well, hold on. Let's check let me it try. Out. You you yeah, say I, you can't go to a different room. No. So but you can go to a different tab, so that, and I yeah. think your oh, microphone yeah, yeah, will yeah. work. Yeah, you can go to yes. Yeah, so I'm I'm actually over in uh, now comment space working on obsolete. So I can hear you just fine. So yeah, cool. do me a favor. Um, if you're working on obsolete, go talk to Chris and Nikki. Oh, I'm in the wrong table. Yeah. Is this one? <laughs> cool. Okay, so how does that? So this is table two. How do I? Jan Janet, do you know June? No. Hi. Nice to meet you. Okay. Cool. June is just starting with Persepolis, um, and so I made a special and 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 also her students just all got on Youth Voices and are in now comment and so she's our newest recruit and she uh, has uh, been pulled over with um, I mean Sam introduced me to her <laughs> um, so are you connected You are connected with the Philadelphia Writing Project as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met okay. Sam through the Philadelphia Writing Project, and I know Christina Cantrell through the Philadelphia Writing Project, too. Right, right. So what yeah. we're doing at this table is we're looking at the Google Drive, the two assignments that Kevin has created. So do you see that link in the chat? Where is the link? 
in the chat. In the chat? Yeah. Scroll all the way to the bottom. You'll see station two. Oh, got you. Okay. Okay. So you and June are going to, and Kevin will pop in and out, are going to talk about that first. And then you'll go to the other tables. Okay. 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 This is so cool. I didn't even know you could go on a link and then still be talking together. <laughs> this, this is very yeah. cool. All right. I, I feel like I'm pretty excited about the about this and knowing that like you have a pretty defined. All right. Hi, Christina. You okay? Okay. Yeah, I'm reading the student work. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Is anybody else doing that? Okay. Are there other? I'm gonna see yeah. if there's anybody else doing it. Yeah, and they might be just doing it somewhere. Okay. If they are, I'll, I'll, I'll send uh, them to you. Sometimes I have split classes, and this isn't ideal for that. You know, where I have students in the room. But yeah, no, I like it a lot. Um, and then it, have you taught Persepolis yet or are you just gearing up to teach it now? Um, so we're, we just started this week. So we're on now comment. We're on like page uh, part one of five. So I think I think. And uh, they they're impressed with this audition tape and uh, they're going to get back with them. Maybe lots some summer stock theater out there in Utah. So it might cool. be good to know somebody out there. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Have them look me up. OK, did you all find obsolete? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so no. Paul, I'm really impressed with the ability to like now with a graphic novel, like one of the limitations of this particular format in the classroom is that when we look at it, we might look at a whole page. So Karis was just saying, like, you know, I can tap on that and do like a whole page comment just like we can uh like a whole document mm -hmm. uh, comment and more comment. But the what I like about the graphic novel is sometimes pinching down into that space we can really show something that's happening within the image so I, I, so I, I, so you are I, aware I'm, I'm, you can make so you you can make tiny little boxes on, on anything right. right good okay right so right. please do it um for a little while and then then we can keep talking but does that make sense talk a little bit about how you look at a particular, let's say, a particular speech bubble and just comment on that. You would highlight the speech bubble. And then, I, I mean, this, there are lots of, you know this, but I'll, I'll repeat it anyhow. We start with five standards, five standard things we ask kids to do. And when it's an image, we, we start with um, a, a Description of what it is is one thing you could do. You could ask a question about it. You know, you could give your opinion about it. Um, and and then another thing we ask them to do is that they could make up a dialogue between characters themselves, right? So imagine another dialogue of of what's happening in the scene. So that's sort of some of the ideas. That wasn't five, but. I forgot I the other. That. I'm, I'm talking really technically, Paul, oh. about if I want to really focus in only on a specific part of it of of a page. So when you tap, um, I click. You when you click, you you drag your mouse across the part that you want, and a little a little yellow box, I think it's yellow, appears, and then your box to type jumps up. Okay. What I'm seeing instead is it says no whole image conversation start one, um, but for the whole image. This may just detract other people, and when Kumo Space allows us to do this, it'll be fun. Um, but I'll share my screen and, and do it with you. Okay. Okay. Um, sure. You're logged in, are you? Yeah, I am. Okay. All right. Um, you can see it on the screen. Yep. Okay. So if I just wanted to talk about the, uh, actually, I do want to talk about. If I just wanted to talk about this question mark here, 
I'm taking my my mouse and I'm holding down the left side of it and I'm scrolling across the question mark and then I'm letting go and then start a conversation pops up. Okay, gotcha. You see that? Mm -hmm. um, worth noting that when lots of things get on here, you you can hide all the comment areas, right? And what I just said to you is explained in this box here, add comment, but I don't, you could probably just try it at this point. Okay. Is it working? Right. Let me give it a try. Okay. Uh, yeah, I feel very inadequate right now. I'm like, I don't know, it's just complicated. How you doing? <laughs> I love it. This would be great to steal. Oh, yeah. Explain your creative choices. So can you tell me about your IB-ness? Like, let me go back to Kumo Space. I'm actually talking to you there. So you're, what about, what is the rubric? What was the name you were calling NYP? What, which is. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's like a lot of jargon. So the, what he has at the bottom of his original, like the original comic creative project, right. he's got these purple and green rubrics. So uh -huh. basically, basically for NYP, like it's called middle years program. And so if you're in a middle years program, it's from sixth grade to 10th grade, technically you're in that program. Um, okay. And there's basically four criteria and one of them is like analyzing text. One of them is organizing text. Like I'd like them to be able to be like mom, dad, aunt, aunt Carol in Minnesota. Come look at, you know, come look at the thing I made. Come look at this stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. I feel know. like it, needs, it, it should be shared like that. We, I mean, that we have Christmas a few one. ideas, by the way. <laughs> what? We have a few ideas what how Kevin could do this, but... <laughs> But we'll share that, that Christmas one had me in tears. Oh my gosh. It was really good. So, yeah, it was really good. Was and so that just, boy was um, definitely a quiet boy in class, right? And he didn't participate much. And like, then he just, the story kind of pours out of him. And it was great, you know? Um, wow. I love, I love when students like interact with me in any way, but like definitely through their work, you know? And yeah. uh, even the one where the kid was playing the piano, like it just got a personality to it that I'm like, all right, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I'm on the dinosaur. I haven't read them all yet. Um, I'm on the dinosaur one now, but I mm -hmm. the, yeah, they're really exciting. The the dinosaur one. That student like you know taught me things about all this. Like he's far and away more talented than I was and will ever be. Uh -oh. um, so I was really impressed. I still keep in touch with a lot of them, but the dinosaur one is a student who um, you know emails me all the time. You know uh, about what he's working on. So yeah. I, I like to think I inspired that because he was a doodler. He always doodled dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. And then I told him, yeah, write your college essay about your love of Jurassic Park and how it influenced oh, your life. Sure. So Kevin, write your comic about dinosaurs. Go ahead, Paul. That's so, awesome. Um, Janet and June, <laughs> um, did you want to come down here to see student work? Does that sound like a good thing to do? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you see where to do that in the chat? Yes. And We're Christina, do you it. want to stay here and help them, or do you want to go to another group? Um, Up to you. I want to figure out how to share the work. It's so good. Share the student work. Yeah, I'm going to finish it, though. I haven't finished it. Okay, so you're staying at this table, then. That's fine. June, yeah. June, um, you'll join Christina and um, and look at some of the student work. Christina obviously has been looking longer, but that'll work. That's fine. Yeah, Christina, what? Which one are you looking at? I'll just join you. Um, I'm looking at the dinosaur one. I have to say though that the Christmas one I thought was like so strong. Chris, this is student work. Do you want to? Do you want to join this group? Yeah. Hey, Chris. Okay. by Barry Dosh and, uh, and so that that technique I'm just kind of going through there and going like okay if I were if I were teaching this graphic novel I would I would probably have that one over on the side and say hey let's take a look at that or if I was going to talk about something that Mr. Bachner is doing in obsolete I'd probably have Scott McCloud's understanding comics like uh, mm -hmm. they're nearby and say okay let's look and see 
how that blue box there becomes interior monologue and how that little blue box takes the place of maybe six pages of interior monologue. He can do that in the little blue box, right? So cool features. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, and I, before we read any graphic novels, we, we read the first like five chapters of Understanding Comics. I am harassing, I'm not harassing, I'm lovingly stalking Scott McCloud on Twitter um, just because I want attention from him because like I love his work. I have all three of those books. It's Understanding Comics, Reinventing Comics, and Making Comics. Making. Uh, I can't recommend them enough to anyone. Um, but they were really helpful for students, especially chapter two is blood in the gutter. And he talks about like the overlap of what, what happens when you remove the gutter and when things bleed into them. But he also talks about the icon and how like cartoon style is universal and allows more people to connect to it than um, like the Mona Lisa, right? We, there's a very narrow reaction or interpretation someone's gonna have from looking at it versus the, the stick figures, right? Which are more open to us to project ourselves onto them. So yeah, uh, uh, that's great. And I love the, the comments. I'll definitely look through them. Because so my I always feel My really job awkward. is to, to come around and interrupt Kevin. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> so, the, um, that's good, so, I need it. I need it, I need, so, definitely need it. I'm having night coffee. So, <laughs> so I just wanna say, if you've had enough experience, if you wanna stay here and keep working and now comment, um, on obsolete, feel free to do that. Janet, did you find it? And so that you can pra practice, you want to practice, you know, annotating an image there. Um, if you want to go see some student work, you want to go over to the right. Um, I don't know if anybody's there. I'm sorry. Student work is down toward the bottom. Christina, Chris. Down the bottom. Okay, yeah. Hold on. Christina, Chris, and Janet. And anyway, not are, are there. Um, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Clear the room. No, okay. but I need it. Chase me around. I'll just take that as That's my okay. cue to go to the next person. Paul, are you going to continue I'm... here or do you want to see some of the other stuff? Well, I, I want to go see the other stuff, but I wondered if I could be value added to Mr. Bachner somehow just by like dropping some kind of some, I guess what we call, call it seed corn perhaps. You know, Absolutely. Go for it. Yeah. Wait, you want to. And I also want to go and see some of this. You, you guys want to just have a conversation, which is cool. Yep. Whatever. Keep going. Keep going. Sure. Yeah. And at some point, he he might. Sh you could. You don't have to go anywhere. Um, you could just click on to see the assignments. Yep. So I'm just checking technically everyone found the student work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Janet, you found it? Yep. Okay. Nikki, you found the student work? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. I see Paul lurking through the circle. Paul, we're just talking about you and how great you are. That's all. Uh, <laughs> so we were trying to make sure we, you know, you didn't overhear that. No, it's, okay. a it's a magnet. <laughs> so. Uh, no, but yeah, go ahead. No, 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 it's cool. Um, <laughs> all right. So um, just to say, I, I knew it wouldn't, these stations would break down. It's okay. What I think, what I think we should do is just, um, I'm going to, I don't know, maybe give it. Now, Kevin, if you're ready to show some of the stuff, um, like share screen, like, the, like, sure, like show the student examples. Yeah. So, so if Christina said, wants to say that Christmas one, and then you can pop mm -hmm. it up. So we'll just have people talk about what they saw. Right. Okay. And we're, we'll yeah, do that. Great. We'll do that in five minutes. Okay. Okay. Novels is how like emotive they can be. Yeah, a lot of um, you know, you can see the kid's passion or the student's passion for the topic in here. Well, the the Christmas one actually made me cry. Like this one picture from it. I'd love to hear. We're all back together, by the way, just to say. <laughs> Go ahead. What? Oh, okay. So, 
um, what, I'll why, show you the picture. why don't we, why don't we let this continue to flow? Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody's here. Um, what I thought instead, you know, naturally this broke down, which is fine. You may not have gotten to see all three of the things we wanted you to see, but, um, we'll now share them this way. Christina, keep talking. <laughs> Well, if you scroll up a couple of pages, I just want to look at, so there's these, the story is narrated in, in this sort of like block by block. And then, I mean, sometimes there's like eight or nine, sometimes there's, but if you keep going, then there's this like one page spread. Um, of Should we give the, Christina control? <laughs> this, this, spread, one? this one, yeah. Okay. And so you're you're like being led through the story of him when he was a baby and he's telling it. So it's like frame by frame by frame. And then you get to this part with this like whole page scene. And it just made like my heart just was like, ugh, like in my throat all of a sudden. It's just such a beautiful. So I think it would be really cool to hear the kids narrate or I mean, you said you had them do reflections, but like sort of narrate their, their, um, I mean, I, I'm a graphic novel reader. I love graphic novels and I, um, I'd love to hear like what they're, what they're thinking about as they're designing it this way. Like that's, it's such a strong, it's a powerful design right there. I, it's just, I noticed. And I was wondering, you know, how conscious the author was of it and what kind of decisions they made as writers. Um, well, but I mean, to offer some kind of, uh, you know, information with that, like, uh, from what I, so when looking at his, um, rationale, uh, he's doing the splash page, right. Which is, a we considered it an, an advanced technique. They had to do one advanced technique. It could have been bleed or something ah, else. Right. Yeah, so the splash okay. page is the only page and there can only be one. Right. But everything else needed to be multiple images to show the passage of time. But the splash page, you want to stop time with, he, and that's something he kind of wrote about. So it's really great to hear, like you, you kind of touching upon that a little bit in your reaction to it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I that's think that's great. great. Cool. Anybody else? Would uh, we can, or uh, do you want to talk more? We can look at a different one. Yeah. Corey did good. Um, mm. well, I don't I, want to drive it. Yeah, go ahead. I have a, um, I didn't read the Christmas one. I just read the Jurassic one, uh, you know, it's partly by your recommendation, but then partly by the strong opening visual. Uh, and this is very was, Scott McCloud, right? I see, uh, I yeah, see his totally. influence here. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, lots of... Um, you know, like uh, you can tell the students' passion for it, but also there's um, uh, like he's having fun with it and inserting kind of an, another voice. Yeah, you know, there's the writer telling, taking us through this, and then there's kind of the little jokes that take place too, because he loves the topic so much. You know, yeah, like the mm -hmm. this page you're showing, yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and he ends, he's inside the dinosaur at the end. He's I loved inside it. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That um, me up. Uh, John had never, like I said, he was a doodler. He loved to draw dinosaurs. Uh, Jurassic Park was his favorite film, but he had never drawn any kind of story before. And this was his first time uh, learning about digital art. So, you know, my, my students all have surfaces and he just kind of made that one of his personal goals for last year was he was going to, he wanted this story to look as good as it could, so he wanted to learn how to do this. Uh, wow. And yeah. So cool. So, so it definitely yeah, makes me want to watch. In, he's in a dinosaur that's swimming, too. Mm -hmm. So it's really. <laughs> yeah. Some Jonah in the whale. I'm not completely what there is. So it all ends up using there. This is, uh, Kevin, this is really great stuff. And it reminds me of, um, uh, he's doing the books, The Engineers right now, uh, Jarrett uh, Lerner. 
and okay. he's, he's been kind of like showing us like his process like learning how to draw food characters like superheroes and i think he has a graphic novel coming out pretty soon about food heroes you know so it it works from like this little place and uh i love the ted talk by jared uh, krishashka right he shows you like some of that early process like well before like hey kiddo you know when he's uh drawing pictures of his teachers and uh you know uh, some teachers appreciate that and the other one's not so much but I think it's someone <laughs> to can get on board and say, hey, if you can do a caricature of me, I'm not going to take that personally. I'm, I'm starting to see some budding talent in you and um, being able to render people this way. It's pretty cool. Yeah. No, that's why I love it. I tell them, I like, I don't want you to be like me. I want you to be better than me. Because <laughs> like, you should outgrow all of this. You should, you know. Uh, so, yeah, definitely John and some of these other people, I'm like, you know, you're far and away better than I am at this by this point already. So, yeah. Could we talk a little bit about um, Kevin's, the first chapter that people did in Now Comment and what that experience was like? Somebody who hasn't talked yet. Chris, you spent some time there. Nikki, you did too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> um, I mean, I was, um, I made a comment on page six there. Uh, I just, I like the the sentiment. Local history is full of stories people need to hear about. Um, and it struck me, you know, I went back to the Firefox project in Georgia, uh, and how like his class actually really came to life when he started getting the stories of the people, folk stories of the people, uh, and their knowledge. Uh, and it's still going today. I actually, I just checked it out. It's like, oh, there's actually COVID stories now being told on that same area. Um, so, yeah, that that's what struck me is like, yeah, there's that power of telling stories locally. Yeah. Ch choice and voice. I'm uh, uh, in case you guys think I'm just like not listening. I'm actually like taking a list of all these uh, names. We're dropping, so I can do some uh, further research uh, later on these on a lot of these individuals. So uh, June, I always appreciate I, a good recommendation. Can I call on you and Janet to talk about the assignments? You guys talked about that a little bit more than others did. Yeah, we we were looking. I I was particularly like interested in how you structured the assignment because I'm thinking about doing something similar, or at least as an option for the end of Persepolis. And I just noticed that uh, Kevin used, has the similar MYP system like that my school uses or like the same, similar rubric. So that was exciting to see because I don't often see that used um, in assignments that I actually like. And this assignment is so well structured. Um, and so I feel like the, the thing that I, that stood, like an idea that I didn't have was the reflection aspect, but that just seems so, so important for this assignment for students to acknowledge their own choices right and like to to basically analyze their own work um so we, we talked about that a, a little bit yeah i agree i really love the layout and the plan because i'm trying to i was so impressed i was like oh my gosh just i the clarity of what of what's happening in the clear and the high the high caliber of the rubrics were really important to me because <laughs> I feel like in distance learning, there's such a free for all when kids are not with you. The asynchronous time is, it's not lost. It just needs to be structured differently. And I'm struggling because many times kids are still not clear about either what the expectation is or what we want to do. And when I was really looking at how you laid that out for them with examples and then clearly relating it back, I feel like they could really function well independently because there's so much structure there and things to talk about and to coach on and i think the specificity really struck me that's what we spent a lot of time talking about uh yeah and this is uh for 12th graders uh so if i were to do this with maybe like a freshman or something like that i definitely would need to kind of check in more you know and i think that's kind of goes without saying but there is a level of earned independence with a, a lot of these students where I can give them a rubric, we can go over it and refer to it and they'll know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, and they just as much will check it to hold me accountable, make sure everything's correct. 
But yeah. Kevin, do you ever lead professional development around supporting kids? Um, I ha no, not regularly in He's the done past. Right I've done well right now. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this down as my uh, for my recertification when it's due. Okay. Not that's regularly, good. but I have in the past around um, like gamification of curriculum. Mm -hmm. uh, I did I did a pretty extensive work with like class crafts platform. Yeah. and um, stuff around that. So I've done, I've definitely done PDs on that. Um, but other than this, this is um, my first go around talking about graphic novels and using them in the classroom. Yeah, this is great stuff here. Cool. Kevin, um, nice. can, can yeah. I share my screen? I just want to show them how sure. I've, I'm pushing you um, for a second, <laughs> or thinking about thinking about it a little bit. Um, hold up. So the, um, I hope I'll get to the right place here. I will. So the first page, oh, come on. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So I took the first page of the Jurassic comics and put it into, I'm sharing it now correctly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good. And put it into, um, web stories. So it's playing right now. Um, is it? No, it's not. It is playing right now. Okay. So let's just, it just takes 20 seconds. So just to say, um, you know, I'm trying to figure out how to stop sharing. There you go. So I don't know if, if so I, I absolutely know that one of the things that uh, people have noticed is that what happens when you look at a comic on the page is very different than when it's like animated, right? Right. But it, but it, it might be an option for some kids to say, "Oh, I could animate this, and it would do it would do something different, right?" So that have yeah. kids shared even on the page at, at Youth Voices. Say it again. Have kids who shared their the regular way on Youth Voices? Nope, we're working on that, right, Kevin? <laughs> yeah, we're going to. Yes, do we it. are. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we want we want that to happen. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I think these could be lovely mentor texts for other kids. Mm -hmm. Except these are seniors from last year, right? The, 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 the five that you're seeing tonight are seniors from last year. I, in a month, I'll have a bunch more. Okay. Um, but again, like I have access, I could get permission, we could post these, but I, I'm sure those kids from last year would appreciate it. But yeah. I'm more thinking about the ones we have right now, too. Well, what a powerful thing to take a page like you just did, Paul. So so let's say, Kevin, your students have their whole book, right? And then when you're posting on Youth Voices, mm -hmm. how amazing would it be to just do one page of it as a, as a highlight for the rest of the text? You know, at the last page, then put the yeah. link. Oh, and here's the whole, right? <laughs> Almost like a, for, like a book talk or whatever, book commercial book. For me, what it started I mean, that, to, started to do, yeah. and and Scott McLeod talks about this uh, in his books, but what it started to do was to think about how the page is different than digital, right? Um, even even if the page is on a computer, but like that you can move your eye from the top left corner to the bottom left, or in an animation, your eye gets moved for you, right? So. Mm -hmm. And and so designing that for the reader as you know, it's a different design process, which I think is fascinating. I'm moving my eye, yuck. 
So looking at some of Mr. Vakna's uh, student work, I'm reminded of like how simple uh, renderings and representations can work if we have those mentor texts, because obviously comparison is the thief of joy. And I'm looking at other artists' work, I'm kind of like, yeah, but I don't draw like that. Okay, well, let's show you some people who draw like that. So like Box Brown would be a great example of that because his imagery on the page is so simply rendered. And if you haven't seen, uh, I think it's Child Star is his uh, latest uh, graphic novel, actually follows like a fictional child star from the 70s up through his ruin into the 90s. Uh, you know, classic stuff for the big people. Uh, but I like what Dr. Ilko was saying about that, that one page pitch, it almost becomes like a visual elevator pitch. You know, I want you to look mm -hmm. at the rest of the work based on, you know, now they have to make some conscious decisions about what to include on a splash page that brings somebody into the rest of the work, kind of like a highlight reel. You know? There you go. Yeah. All right. I like that. So we are all about pushing each other, which is great. You guys did a wonderful job of giving Kevin some feedback. Kevin, you get last word here tonight. <clears throat> Oh, well, no, thank you guys. Um, uh, I've been trying to sell this book to people for a couple months now. So it was really nice to not have to do that and just kind of talk about like the teaching <laughs> aspect of it. But you can um, go buy it if and, you'd like, by the way. Yeah, you, you could. <laughs> uh, it's, um, I don't know. Here, do I, I, I may have the Amazon link if you want it, but um, it's, it's in all the, all the invites. Go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, no, but thank you so much because um, I, I am very passionate about um, education above like all things and developing, you know, real meaningful skills in, in my students. Um, so being able to listen to you guys, uh, you know, answer your questions, uh, puzzle over some of them uh, was really helpful in my own thinking because I really do feel that like I need to be constantly evolving and getting better. And you guys have been helpful in that tonight. So thanks. And I hope it's helped you. Thanks for organizing it. Yeah, this really, is really Paul gets most of the credit. Oh, yeah. It's cool. And <laughs> June, as usual. June, I think this is your first time here. Come back, please. <laughs> so lovely to have you. Thank you so much and, for having me. And the Persepolis work is um, public on now comments. So if uh, anybody can go see what her kids are doing. It's actually wonderful on now comment right now. There's like Chris Sloan's kids uh, on the front page um, at different times. Chris, Chris Sloan's kids are doing these um, inquiries and Paul's kids have been anyway, doing different things too. And then June's kids was, pop up and then kids. Sam's kids pop up. It's kind of fun to watch. Yeah. yeah, Chris's kids all showed up in my email. So I went through and like, <laughs> was like commenting on all their things. It was super you fun. Had them? Like, That's okay. cool. Neat. So I went in there and gave little comments about what they're reading and thinking about. That's the hard pitch when it comes into your email. I was like, wait a minute. I right? know, I know yeah, it, thing. <laughs> it just, yeah, you want to just to say that's, that's coming to you because I subscribed you to the study group that they are okay. inhabiting <laughs> around the UN, so like, the UN um, sustainability goals. Right. It's so, very cool. It's great work. The work they're doing is really neat to it watch. Is. is Chris there? Bye, Chris. <laughs> okay. So, actually, I, I, I usually say I, I love to walk people out, but um, remember, don't, don't sit on top of the exit button um, because other people want to exit too. But you want to walk down and say goodbye. Thank you all. Thank you, Kevin, especially. Thank, thank you. you. It was nice talking thank to you all. Everybody, thank you. That's right. We have, have a good night. Eat out. Yeah. It's okay, Nikki. <laughs> yeah, I know. Somebody That's always right. does it. It's okay. <laughs> and how do I get out? Um, I know it really you gotta, should you be. Click on it. It really should be when you come across, oh. it goes out. We gotta, we gotta tell them that. <laughs> What do I do? No, you, you click the red button. Oh, God. Okay. Sorry. You're doing good. <laughs> See you, Kevin. All right. Thanks again, Paul. Yeah. Bye.